Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, please feel free to write to me at walkwithtak at gmail.com if you have any questions regarding today's video or any other videos that I have posted in the past. If you have any videos that you would like me to make, uh, please let me know. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Uh, recently, a viewer wrote to me and she asked me what is the best way to clean her stainless steel wok. Now, I have a stainless steel wok and I use it every day. I like my wok to be clean and spotless. And she said she preferred that as well. When she watched my video, she said, your wok looks so nice. But she said she had a hard time to clean her wok, particularly the stains on her wok. And she said sometimes she would spend about 5 to 10 minutes to clean her wok. Now, for most people, 5 to 10 minutes to clean a cookware is totally unacceptable. And in my case, I usually spend maximum about a two to three minutes to clean my wok uh, to reach the state that I have every day, which means that I will start out my wok clean and spotless. Now, when you clean your wok, there are really two different stages involved in cleaning the wok. The first stage is that to remove all the debris that are associated from the cooking. And in this case, it is very easy and efficiently can done by using a wok brush. Now, I have used a wok brush for many years. A wok brush is really a type of brush made out of uh, fiber from a palm tree, and they refer to it as a Pimara brush. And this brush actually used frequently. Actually, people use it for cleaning their car or sometimes washing their deck. But there's another type of uh, wok brush frequently known as a wok whisk, and this actually made from bamboo. Now, this is the traditional uh, wok cleaning utensil. Now, I did not use it for a long time, and partly because I was not sure how to use it. It is hard for me to imagine how the shape of this brush, uh, with all this bamboo sticking out, uh, will be able to clean a wok. And furthermore, uh, the bamboo actually are pretty stiff. But once I figured out how to use it, it turned out that to be far superior than a wok brush. So the first step in cleaning your wok is to use something like this, a wok brush, or a bamboo whisk. Now the wok brush is useful if you would like to use that because it has a very large surface area. So just a few brush, you can clean the wok very quickly. And the wok whisk is slightly different because it turned out that the wok whisk, you clean the wok quite differently. And let me explain that a little bit. Now the wok whisk actually uh, used the edge of the bamboo strip. They are basically bamboo strip on the uh, tie together uh, to uh, scrub off anything that might stick to the surface of the wall. And that actually turned out to be really efficient. So here I'm going to demonstrate how to use the wok whisk uh, to clean a wok. Now the first step is always to rinse off as much as a food residue that are loosely attached to the surface of the wok. And usually by rinsing it, uh, you make it a little bit easier to clean with the wok whisk. So whatever that left behind is something that cannot be easily rinsed off, which means that you need to have some friction uh, to scrub it off. And this is where the wok whisk come in. Now, of course, the wok brush can do the same. Now, you notice that when you use the wok whisk, you actually use the edge of the bamboo to scrape things off the surface of the wok. And this is something that I did not uh, realize when I first saw the wok whisk. I kind of tried to figure out how it actually worked. And I think this is a good example that uh, we're constantly learning. And it is also a demonstration that it is good to be open-minded and to have uh, ability to look at different possibilities to use a particular tool. As you can see in here, uh, the edge of the bamboo turned out to be really great for scraping off the anything that are attached to the surface of the wok. Uh, partly because uh, the bamboo actually uh, have the kind of uh, structure or tensile strength make it just the right uh, way for you to scrape it off. Now the wok whisk turn out to be extremely uh, reliable and they are also very durable. In fact, uh, you probably can use it for a long time without ever have the need to replace it. Uh, this is not the case with uh, the Pamara brush. The Pamara brush, over time, they do start to wear out and in fact the bristle will start to come off. But the wok whisk, from the experience that I have up to this point, I believe that it's going to be more long-lasting as compared to the Primara brush. Now, the wok whisk actually has been around for a long time. 
Now, in here, you notice that uh, I still have some stain left on the surface of the wok. Now, those cannot be cleaned off by the wok whisk. Now, this is where I'm going to use my 3M Scotch Bright Heavy Duty Scrub Sponge. The scrub sponge should work really well to remove any stain. Now, I usually have two scrub sponge on hand, one uh, that I have been using for a while. And as you can see here, this one worked really well. I remove almost all the stain on the surface of the wall. But there are times that the stain could be quite uh, reluctant to be removed. They are quite persistent. Now, in this case, it turned out that the freshness of the scrub sponge play an important role. If you have a scrub sponge that you use for a while, the abrasive property of the sponge is not as effective. So in this case, uh, it is good to have another scrub sponge that are new and it is much more effective uh, in scrubbing off any uh, stain that has been on the surface of the wall. Now, I think it is important to keep in mind when you cook, it depends on how you cook and what type of ingredients that you cook and what have you been cooking before uh, you cook a particular type of dish. There's always um, going to some burn material on the surface of the wok. Now, as you notice that, I turn the wok over and I also scrub the back surface of the wok. And because I use my stainless steel wok on my glass top electric stove, if any residue left on the back surface of the wok, quite often it would burn to the glass top electric stove and which makes it difficult for me to clean the stove. So keeping the back surface of the wok clean is quite important. After I start using the bamboo wok whisk, I still use the uh, Pamara wok brush. I alternate between the both and try to see which one actually clean better. And the result is that I think both are equally effective in cleaning off any uh, residual material that left on the surface of the wok that cannot be rinsed off, but can be brushed off using either the wok whisk or the Pamara brush. However, there's one thing make the wok whisk definitely better than the wok brush. That is the wok brush, after you use it, it will trap water inside the bristles. And it's very hard to get the water out. And in fact, uh, I hang it up to dry every time I have to use it, but still it will retain the water. And the end result is that if you are not uh, particularly careful in getting rid of as much water as you can, uh, it will start to become moldy. Whereas the wok whisk do not have the problem because the bamboo are separated from each other in such a way, any water that trapped there will dry very quickly. So when I hang them up, it works extremely well. So the end result is that now I use my uh, wok whisk all the time and uh, I really like it. I think it does an excellent job. And in terms of cleaning, it is on par with the wok brush, but it has advantage is that it dry much faster and easier. So I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine using my fast cooking system. If you'd like to learn more about my fast cooking system, uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I believe this cooking system will help you uh, to find a home cooking alternative to fast and ultra-processed food. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.